video today we'll be talking about everything wheel related these are all things that i had questions about whenever i was first wanting to get my skates and then whenever i got my radar energy wheels um, i really didn't know the difference between anything really even indoor and outdoor wheels so hopefully this will help you and let's get rolling so there are four major parts to a wheel the wheel tire the hub the bearing and the axle nut Wheel tires can be made of different materials. The most popular right now is urethane, but there are other materials like vendethane, which is a type of clay. There is even uh, fiber and wood. Hubs have three main core materials, nylon, aluminum, and a cross between the two, which usually has a nylon hub, but an alloy insert. Nylon hubs are lightweight and inexpensive, but they may be prone to flex, which reduces speed but improves traction. On the other hand, aluminum hubs offer better power transfer and a longer roll, but they are heavy and costly. And then you have a hybrid hub, which has that nylon hub still, but with an alloy insert, which gives it a little bit more structure for lightweight structure. The bearing is what allows your wheel to spin around the axle. So, wheels require two bearings, one on each side, one in the front and one in the back. One skate requires eight bearings, so a total of 16 for both skates. Bearings can also be customizable and bought in different colors and designs. Then we have the axle nut. They screw into your axle to secure your wheel in place. That's essentially it. Now that you know the basic parts of the wheel, let's talk about size and hardness. Okay, so the hardness of the wheel is one of the most important things to look at. The durometer will actually allow you to know which wheel is better for what surface. The lower the number, the softer the wheel. The higher the number, the harder the wheel. Let's talk about soft wheels. Soft wheels are really good because they absorb impact and they have a smoother ride and uneven surfaces. Rolling over cracks and small debris will be smoother with a softer wheel. Outdoor wheels tend to be a 78A. For example, you have the radar energy wheel that I have. That is actually 78A. The Moxie Gummy Wheel, that is also 78A, which is the softest you can get. And then you have the Impala Glitter Wheel that came with my holographic skates. That's actually an 82A. Not the softest, but it's actually better for beginners because it gives you more grip to the ground. Then you have harder wheels like this one. Harder wheels actually have less grip and more glide. Harder wheels glide more on tight coated surfaces, like at a skating surface. So if you're going to a skating rink, you would probably use a wheel like this. Um, and then you have hybrid wheels, and hybrid wheels tend to be around 84A. Um, and uh, those are wheels like the Moxie Funday wheel and the Impala Glitter wheel. The diameter um, essentially measures the height of the wheel, and the height is measured in millimeters. So wider wheel is also a factor that you can take into account. Um, if a wheel is wider, it is probably more stable, uh, but it will probably be heavier. Um, another thing to consider will be the lip or the edge of the wheel. Rounded edges are more common in outdoor wheels. They have less grip, more slide, and they help with small obstacles. Square edges have more grip and are usually used in artistic skating. Another thing to consider is the price. I've seen from around $20 to around a little bit over $100. Okay, now that we've seen all those possible combinations and variables, um, it is important for you to choose what type of skating you want to do before you buy your wheels. So if you want to do outdoor skating, then a softer wheel will be better for you, lower on the durometer. If you're wanting to do indoor skating, then a higher wheel on the durometer will be best for you. The fun part about wheels is all the colors they come in. Um, they come in blues and pinks and purples and oranges and yellows and greens. Uh, the Moxie Gummy Wheel comes in, I think, all of those colors that I mentioned. And you do have uh, other wheels that you're able to customize uh, with uh, color bearings and make them look really cool and neat uh, and that's always just a fun part to get to decorate your skates with. That is it for this video. I hope it was helpful. If you have any questions, please comment below and if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. 
If you want to see more, please subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Happy rolling! Bye.